What's up, guys? It's me, Imani. No, this is not The Legend of Zelda. <laughs> this is Wario World. This is a game uh, that I definitely I have maybe not fond memories of, but definitely discordant, dissociative. Uh, really kind of just felt like a fever dream of the past. Um, but yeah, we am just going to kind of jump right into this. I'm going to be trying to do a 100% run of this game. And uh, I'm excited to uh, show you guys just how how unique this game is, for lack of better words. Um, this definitely is a definitely is a childhood favorite, though. Um, it's hard for me to have a truly a truly objective opinion of the game, so I'm just gonna kind of uh, spin things from my perspective. You can come to your own conclusions. Whether or not you've played this game before, um, people, people, I feel like don't even know about this game. I feel like this is one of those that's like, I thought Wario only had WarioWare, you know. So let me guys, let me know, guys, if you have, uh, if you've even heard of this game before. If this is your first time hearing of this game, um, this came out in like 2003, I think. But uh. Yeah, basically in true fashion, Wario is, is is very much like true neutral as a character. He uh, we're only really doing anything, period, because of this chaotic force that's taken all of our money. So I'll just give you guys a little tour real quick. Um, when we beat the game, we'll I guess open this chest. Uh, it's laid out pretty simply. I mean. There's only four worlds, but each world has two regular levels and a boss. Um, Wario's uh, controls are really interesting. He's got this um, <laughs> this sort of like vacuum cleaner setting here for picking up coins. We've got a ground pound. We hold down R. We do this uh, this punch, and we can jump with it as well and get this cool thing. Um, I think the real fun though is once we start fighting the mobs in here though. <laughs> that's, where, that's where this game starts to shine. Alright. So right off the bat, let's go this way. And we encounter this box. And I'm actually not even pressing anything to the controller, he does this on his own. Wario, hi, I've been waiting for you. I'm one of the Spraylings of the forest. You know, I'm not, you know, I thought about it. I'm not going to commit to that voice. Um, <laughs> I don't think I could do it. <laughs> really bad news that evil Black Joel, you stole a sucking up all the negative greed energy swirling around in your castle and terrible things starting to happen. And he's just giving us a little bit of a, a little tool tip. It's our, um, that's our cliche annoying uh, guide for this game, I guess, you know. Ocarina of Time has Nobby. Um, Twilight Princess has Midna. I guess this is a... Uh... Yeah, those little guys, you um, you save them throughout each level and they just give you advice. A large part of this game is these, these, uh, these switches. You got the buttons and then you've got these platforms that have chests. And, uh, yeah, so each world we go through, we're going to be collecting all of the treasure and then we're going to get all of those, um, there'll be some, uh, like, where is it? I think it's right here. You got these guys. So as you can see, the treasure goes right here. And then these guys become part of a, uh, like this golden bust of Wario. So we got to try to get all those too. But yeah, this game starts to shine when you start getting into combat. Like, look at this. That's just, that's rough. It's no, <laughs> no punches held back, man. This guy's, this guy's crazy with it. 
If I start spinning, I can actually... He does this automatic spin thing. I can throw him. But yeah, we're gonna kind of just roll through this. I actually uh, played through this game all well, halfway through this game basically, and I ended up having to scrap all of it because I was having problems with the resolution output. But I think we should be good to go now. I had to uh, I had to scrap all of it because I was tired of not uploading in HD. I had to I had to resolve that problem. I think we're good now. But yeah, all the thing was is I couldn't even render it in HD because the the OBS or whatever I was using kind of defaulted the resolution to the wrong size, which is weird. Eventually, you're gonna have to deal with the stone doohickey that sits on the goal. To get rid of it, you've got to collect a certain number of red diamonds. Below every ground hatch is a sub-level that holds one. Jump and then press the R button to do a ground pound. You can crash through most hatches this way. For this area, you only need three diamonds. Alright, so... What he's talking about... We come down here. We've got this little mini-level. Each one of these is gonna have these, and they're gonna get progressively harder, obviously, as we go through the game. This one's pretty straightforward. Yeah. At the end, um, if you guys will see above those little spritelings that are jumping, we've got these like, we've got this rotating diamond, right? And then you've got those three places where those diamonds can fit. Um, so that means we only need three of those to technically beat the level, but that's not how we're going to do this. We're going to get all of them. Because why not? And uh, we've got our garlic vendor. And uh, this is our health in the game. You just punch this dude and he... He's a garlic. Very, uh, very fun. So very fun. Let's pop out here real quick. We got another one. Get that. Well, I've just noticed, look at the, uh, the platform that those are on. <laughs> that guy's faces. Ugh. What's going on here? Alright. <laughs> uh oh. Dude, even even Wario is like self-conscious that this this truly is a hellscape, all of it. Like, this is not This is not normal, anything that's happening here. Not even close. Are you using the B button correctly? Hold down the B button for a dash attack. Just face the direction you want to dash and then charge. While holding a monster above your head, hold down the B button then release it for a mega toss. This is great for KOing monsters that can survive ordinary throws. So check it out. If we... We get this guy up. Also, yeah, I'm just out here beating on dinos. Like... That's not right. I mean, nature was going to do that for us, but... Here Wario is. I, I feel like Wario went back to the past just just to get a couple hits in on the dinosaurs before the meteor hit, you know? Hey, this one, if I remember. A little more. Look at that. Easy. A little garlic. So yeah, theoretically, we already have enough of those um, those diamonds to, to beat the level, but we're going to go ahead and just go for all of them, because why not, right? And uh, if we come back this way, if we backtrack a little bit, we got another one of these. Oh, nope, didn't mean to do that. Whoops. This shit. Also, if somebody could go ahead and like translate everything that Wario says... That'd be sick, because I, I mean, he's... Hold on. You guys pay attention here real quick. Just, just listen. What is he saying? Hold on, hold on. Come on, one more. One more. 
There it is. What is that? What is he saying? It sounds like... Sounds like he's trying to say this shit. Is he saying this shit? I don't know. He's saying this shit for sure, right? Oh, I may have messed up. Oh, I may have... I may have fucked up. Oh, no, I can get out. Okay. So there's another, uh... Another thing in there. We're just gonna kind of, like, break our way in. Cool. So... Another thing is that it actually makes noise. It makes, like, a... I don't even know what you would call that. It, it, when you're near one of those treasures, it, it makes noise. So you can hear it. So if you're ever in one of those levels and you're never sure of, like... Uh, if you got everything... You don't really have to, like, tear everything down. Because you can usually just hear it. Alright. So here's our... Here's that. So there should be another one. Yes, yeah, so there's a chest down there you guys can see. I'm gonna go a little bit... Oh, well... Might as well get this one now, I fell. <laughs> We're gonna go back up. And let's see if... We can't find the other one here. Oh, there's a treasure. Yeah, let's switch over here. Okay. Yeah, look at that, there it is. So I think that we got everything back going the back that way. So yeah, let me get another thing up here. Actually come up here, and then I think we got another I think we've got the one a button up here that we have to throw something at. Yes, okay. So I'm just gonna So on my um, my previous attempt to play through this game on camera, um, I made a a statement like I needed to play this game to see if this was actually if, if my memory of this game was real, or if I if this was just like because you know like sometimes you remember something as a child and you're like it's got this like this mystique to it, and then you go back to it as an adult and you're like oh this well it's not really that interesting. I needed to make sure that this game was as crazy as it was when I was a kid and it, it genuinely is it's still just as bad shit it has not lost any of its bad shit factor over the years and um I can really appreciate that I really appreciate that alright let's come up here we got chest Ooh, we got new, <laughs> new mob in, guys. Uh, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, he's just telling us, oh, come on. He's telling us that if we fall off the map, we go into this, like, little mini hell that we have to escape out of, which we will see here in a second, I think. So we are... I think we're going to end up down there. Yep. Very cool. So I think regardless of which... Um, which bridge you take. I think it breaks just to like force you into this. I might be wrong. Maybe I was just going to take the other one. You found enough red diamonds. The stone do hickey block in the way will vanish. If not, the bit, the bye-bye balloon can take you back to the start point. Up ahead, the diamonds you need will appear more frequently. If you want to know how many you have, just press start, search pause, and check your inventory screen. Okay. So, you see the three facets underneath the rotating Wario. We've got three facets here to complete. So, like I said, that just shows us how many we need to get to the boss. Then this thing will disappear and we can ground pound through that and do the boss fight. Um, but we got a lot more to do. Alright. Try to take a little mini break there for a second. Uh, let's 
see if I can get this one. Alright. Okay, I think that that's all I needed. Yeah, awesome. Not honestly entirely sure how that one was supposed to work, but I just hit the switches until it looks right. So. Okay, I think... Oh, actually, if I come back here, I believe... Is it this one? One of these, there's a secret. It might have been the next level. Okay, maybe it's not that one. So we got another switch up here. So, I like to play games like this. Um, like, I like to 100% them. Like, it's not fun if you're just, like, just running through it, because anybody can just run through this. It's got like a little extra like a little extra phone you're trying to get all the things. Now, this one's a little bit harder. And there's not really a sizable gap anywhere on here, is there? Oh, okay, well that wasn't that bad. So we got all the gold pieces, I think. Yeah, and all the uh, the, the regular gems. So now we're just missing two chests. And then we can go ahead and get our first boss. I can actually hear, I think, a, uh, a treasure over here. Yeah. So now we're just missing one. Which we may have to go backwards for. Is there anything over here? Oh, that was the end of that. So now I believe... I hear another one. Oh no, that's that. Okay. So I think I have to go back this way? Yeah, here it is. There we go. So that's all of our treasure. So let me just double check and make sure I got everything. Yeah, all the spiderlings, all the gems, all the treasure. Only thing that's left to do is uh, take care of the boss. So this is, <laughs> this is where the game gets interesting for me. Um, all of these bosses are just like bizarre. Bizarre is like the best word to use, I think, for this game. So like super easy. This guy's not really anything too crazy. We can actually do a mega throw. Let's throw him out of the map. We'll take a damage. We can also, I think, just do a uh, a pile drive. Would work on him too. So he gets a little bit faster each time. Very introductory boss. I think we can also just do one of these. Yeah. Either one works. <coughs> they were not picky on how you uh, how you beat them up, I guess. Yeah. See now, now it gets a little it's a little scary. <laughs> that being said, something. You just keep that, that, that control stick in a circle, you're fine. You're set. Anyways, guys, that was the first level. And, uh, yeah. I, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. We're going to, uh, we're gonna, we're gonna journey through this together, guys. We will be playing Twilight Princess soon, I promise, but, uh, this is for me. This one's kind of just like, I just kind of want more people to see this game. I don't know. <laughs> right, uh, next time we'll go through the second set of doors.